If this happens, expect more gains. What am I talking about? Well, of course, I'm talking about the crypto market. A little bit of a green day again here to start the day. Two days in a row, some green in the crypto market. Gotta love it. Of course, tempering expectations a little bit with, of course, the Fed meeting coming up. I do think a little bit of it is priced in, though. I mean, everybody is expecting the 75 basis point hike, right? Does that mean I think Bitcoin's going back to 60K uh, here and we're back into a full-fledged bull run? Not quite. I do think this is still a bear market rally, but... Based off some of the things I was talking about the last two days, and analysts were saying Bitcoin could get to 30K, could get to 25K, uh, there's one thing that could happen today to really help us get there. And I want to talk about that in this video. If this particular thing happens with Bitcoin, which of course is the market mover, then we could be getting a little bit more bullish and see some of those highs that we saw back in August when Bitcoin almost cracked the $25,000 level. So, if you want to hear more about that, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. We're going to dive into CoinMarketCap. Also take a look at Crypto Bubbles. And I'm going to add some more analysis and uh, insight into where I think the crypto market is going from here in the short term. So welcome back to the channel, too, if you've been here before. Let's dive in here and uh, take a look at CoinMarketCap. So yesterday, something happened uh, that allowed us to get pretty bullish here. So Yesterday, we crossed over the first big resistance line for Bitcoin. The first big resistance line was sitting at 19,600. Talked about that in a video yesterday. We broke through it and uh, the floodgates have opened a little bit. Now we're sitting at 20,500. So what needs to happen next? Well, here's what needs to happen. We need to get Bitcoin over 21,000. That is a big barrier. Expect some resistance. Once we get close, if we go up and test it here today, by the way, up over 5% here in the last 24 hours. Look at Ethereum too, well over $1,500. Love seeing it, love seeing it. Now, remember back in August when Bitcoin got up close to 25K, Ethereum was up over two grand. That would happen again if Bitcoin starts running hot. But the key level is 21,000. Once we break that $21,000 level, then we have eyes on 25K. Things open up for us a little bit, and we've got some room to really run to the upside, at least here in the short term. Now, would I be shocked at all if we, you know, that happens and we get back up to 25K Bitcoin, then we retrace and come back down to a $20,000, $19,000 Bitcoin? Would not shock me at all. Would not shock me at all. Here's what I think is going on in the crypto market right now, personally. I think a lot of people who wanted to sell have already sold. Right. That's why the crypto market was so, so boring for about six weeks. This is the six week high for Bitcoin, by the way, that we're seeing right now. I think that's why there was really, really low volatility. And eventually, crypto being a volatile asset class has to move in a, one direction or the other. And so far, the bulls are beating the bears in terms of that directional move. And we're seeing Bitcoin run to the upside. There you go. Twenty thousand six hundred now. Uh, as the bulls continue to push this thing higher. So in terms of where Bitcoin could go from here, I would be shocked if it got all the way to 30,000 right now. Michael Van de Pope, an analyst out there, thinks it could in the next two to three weeks. If that happens, uh, we'll have to kind of go back to the drawing board. Of course, you know, something else that's causing this right now, right, is certainly what's going on in the UK, right? Their new prime minister talking about CBDCs, talking about Bitcoin. Uh, there's some bullish sentiment there, right? And this is helping drive the market higher. Uh, there's no question about it. And I'm loving it. No matter what, I'm loving it because I'm long on crypto. So anytime there are green days within a bear market, I'm going to love it. I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, listen, there will be traders out there, though. There will be some traders who will start taking profits. It will happen. Uh, we'll just see how much of that impacts overall price points. And uh, it'll be fascinating to watch here what happens with the Fed meeting, right, coming up. Uh, here on November 2nd, is it so priced in that we won't see much price action? Will we get that little bit of a dip and then quickly buy it back up? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, my guess is we'll get a sell-off leading up to the Fed meeting. That's my guess. And then hopefully that dip is eaten back up and uh, we could stay above a $20,000 Bitcoin. But 21000 is the level to watch right now. If we break that with Bitcoin, we've got some real room to run. Speaking of room to run, I got to mention this real quick. Clear Cryptos, one of the projects I've been talking about for the last several months 
is uh, up 82 percent, 141 million dollar market cap right now. Uh, well over 500 holders now. This is a real company doing real big things in the space. The links are down below in the description if you want to check it out. Of course, I'm over there on that YouTube channel as well. Clear Cryptos has their own YouTube channel. It's all about educating people and onboarding people into crypto. Thank you all so much for popping in. I appreciate it. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash the like button. I'm out.